Hi, this is Lisa with Paper Grace Design and Fabric Castell Design Memory Craft. I'm here doing another little tutorial for you today in a card that I made. And I'm going to be stamping with gelatos on some vellum, and I'm using these poppy stamps that I got here. And um, they're Donna Downey Studios poppy stamps. Um, I think I got them from Unity. Here's what the whole set looks like. They're really beautiful. I really like them a lot. So here we go, fast forward mode. I'm just going to be rubbing the gelatos. I'm using three colors here. Just rubbing the gelatos over the stamp and then um, just spritzing with water. I actually had a little boo-boo when I did this video the first time <laughs> and I didn't use it on a dry stamp um, the first go around so the image wasn't quite as dark. So when you start with a dry stamp and then spritz and blend your color in, you'll get a much more saturated look, as you'll see here on the first impression. So I'm cleaning off the stamp again because I want to make sure that when I do the next layer of stamp, or colors for the next, the second stamp, that again I'm starting with the dry stamp. I just found that when I did it a previous time that the color was just really, really light. So if you want to like stamping, then it's okay, but I really wanted a rich saturation. So that's why I started each stamp with, with it being dry and then adding the color and spritzing the water. Using my finger to blend the colors helps keep the color look a little bit more natural, I guess. In my opinion, anyway. The vellum does curl up after it dries, but as you see at the end of the video, or you will see, <laughs> I just use some different ways to flatten it out. You could always use a book. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be using gesso on the outline of the poppy stamp, and that's going to be kind of like a highlight to this. Um, so the stamp set has a solid image and then it has an outline, so I'm just using the gesso as kind of a, you know, if you wanted to use a white pen or something like that, but because I'm using the gelato, I thought the gesso looked really, really great on top. And I just used a little cosmetic sponge to go over that, so I wasn't too heavy on it. I just had a heck of a time holding that metal down. go with the next step. I'm using the same outline. I'm just going to offset it just a tiny little bit, but I'm using the magenta, excuse me, I'm using the magenta uh, Pit Artist Stampers Big Brush Pen, and I just wanted this to be kind of, when I use the gesso for the highlighter, I'm using the magenta Stampers Big Brush Pen to add the contrast. So I've got all the colors, but I want there to be a highlight, and then I also want there to be a contrast. And Stampers Big Brush Pens are made out of India ink, so they are light, fast, archival, waterproof, all that kind of good stuff. They do have a little bit of play time with them when you're doing something like that. So if you do want to blend them or something like that, this is a good time to do it is right after on vellum, especially because it's an encore. So it's still this is a great technique. When I get out some uh, my watercolor pencil, I've got a gold aquarelle watercolor pencil right here. I'm going to go into the center of each poppy a little bit to kind of give it a little bit of shimmer. And you'll see that when I break out the watercolor paintbrush, that that magenta does bleed a little bit. And I think it looks really cool. I started off with one kind of paintbrush and I didn't like the effect that I was getting from it. So I moved to um, just one of the brushes that you get in the kit of gelatos. I like that it was kind of an angle brush and then I I just like the way it looks a little bit better. This one's a little bit finer.
fast forward it through putting it on paper because seriously, I spent way too long on that. <laughs> so all I did was I added some tissue tape at the bottom. Well, I, first I put the piece of vellum on a piece of powdered paper, just so you could see the stripes of the paper through it. And then I just attached it at the top with two little pieces of staples from the tiny attacher, and some tissue tape at the bottom. And then I went over it again with some gesso just to kind of lighten up the verbiage or whatever those words were at the bottom from the tissue tape. I didn't want it to be so bold. But this is how I got the tissue tape, to, excuse me, the vellum to stay onto that piece of pattern papers with that tissue tape. You know, it's one of those things that uh, these craftspersons have a hard time going, oh, how would you get that to stay? Well, this is one of those ways. Now I'm just lining up my thick tip. Even though I didn't get a super super great impression when I stand, I was not feeling well today, so I kind of had to shake a little bit. So when I stamped it, um, I didn't get a super great impression, so I just used one of the fine tip that I was pen and I just went in and fixed what I had the problem with, so you never know. Well, you do now. And then I just shush it up with some heat glue and then add it to my cardstock base and add the finished card. watching this video and maybe learning something a little bit new. Thanks for watching.